死ぬ前に装備にしちゃった方が細胞が新鮮だから動きはいいし意思は消えるから操り放題だしでいいことばっかりなんだよねなるほど He's dead Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Bleak A Thousand Year Blood War episode 23, Marching Out the Zombies 2. Last episode uh, ended with Isuga being controlled by the stern reader that turns you into a zombie once his, her blood, his blood falls on you and whatnot, which uh, I really don't like that. And then you had um, Ichigo and the others trying to make their way to the royal palace to stop Uryu and Yuhobaha and all that. So that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider support on Patreon at patreon.com slash if you And now let's start this episode. And here we go. Sorry if this wasn't much of a reaction, but I just I really, really feel like talking right now. Um, when I'm upset, I just don't feel like talking, and that's what this was for me. I'm upset. I was under the impression that Isugaya was okay. Like last episode, they said Gigi, whatever the name was, that um, she said that it didn't really, for her to control the um, Quincy's, they needed to die, but it wasn't really the case for um, the Soul Reapers. And the last time we saw his Tugaya, he was on the floor, he was still breathing and everything. So um, I was under the impression that he was alive, just being controlled. And, and he's not. So when I read that, that just... Everything else that was happening in this episode, I was like whatever the only thing that made me smile was seeing Byakuya use simple Zakura um Bankai you know that was the only thing that made me smile a little bit this episode but apart from that I was just like like in the back in the back of my mind as I was kept watching things play out I was hoping that these drugs or whatever that um Mayuri was giving them was gonna somehow reactive brought bring them back to life or, or something you know <sighs> during the battle those two um captains the What's his face? V. The um Kenpachi defeated. He killed those two captains, right? And that lieutenant fell after him to try to get their bodies and then they show up here being controlled. And Masumoto there as well, so all four of them are dead. And Mayur was able to, I guess, control them back. Either way, they're dead, so it's like, um, I'm just not... And the one that loved Quincy, he just, like, I was just, like, disgusted with him, like... Uh, Everything that he was doing was like, whatever, man, whatever. And he got defeated by um, the, that, that one whose voice I really don't like. 
I just don't know what happened to the other girl that he was controlling with his love po potion or whatnot that was attacking her. I don't know if she's alive or not, but clearly this one that's still here, he killed the, the love guy or whatnot. And it's like, whatever, man. And now you have you, you have a heart and the other's up in Cerite, so... whatever i'm feeling the way i uh, feel i felt when i read that spoiler about attack on time when it came to Aaron. so it's like whatever i feel like this the title of this reaction should be whatever because just i just don't feel anything my only ray of sunshine this episode was Byakuya but apart from that like everything else I just didn't really care about after learning that his guy Masamoto are dead the other two captains I'm not really attached to them but those two I care about them and they're dead and they're turned to zombies so it's like I don't, I don't care thank you guys for watching I will see you next time Bye. Hey, my my, 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 my,